What is going on, Bearded Fortech? Thank you for joining the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I am inside this 2018 F450 that I posted that short on with the diesel fuel down in the valley. I've already taken the CCV box off because I'm going to be replacing that anyway. I took the fil uh, fuel filter cup out and I took the upper intake off, but together we're going to take the lower intake off. That way we can look down in the valley and look at these fittings and the high pressure pump to see if it has a crack. My light was dead a minute ago. I did charge it for a little bit, but I also have the flash, so let's get into it. Here we are. There's a CCB. It sits down there where that rag's at, and you can also see where it sits back there. That's where the upper intake sits. And I've already loosened, well, it's hard of that clamp. Not the whole thing. For the turbo. So there's that. And then we can go ahead and take, just drop my eight mil. Take out these 10 mil bolts that I did crack them loose, but I have not taken anything off yet. It's gonna be this one, this one, and this one. I already did remove the uh, EGR tube. Careful not to drop these little washers. Two shorties. Go on the left side. And I should be able to grab this bad boy and disconnect it. There we go. Caught on my coolant hose over here. We're just gonna pick you up. Hey, look at all that down there. Is that a bolt? There's a bolt down there. I didn't drop any bolts. Um. So what does that bolt go to? That's the question. Hmm. I'll sit you right there. Oh, it goes to that right there. So this is, this is tight. Oh. This is tight. It's coming out over here. Stick the camera down there and see if we can see anything else. How about that? All right, here we go. Let's go down here and take a look. I see where it's coming out right there. Hmm. I'm going to take that loose and check that. I'll be back. All right, I looked at it with the camera, and the fitting was tight. This fitting was tight. And this wasn't even, it's cockeyed. It's not even sitting in there like it's supposed to. Um, it's 
supposed to be like that. So what I did is I moved the bracket, stuck this bolt back down in there so this would line up, and then I'm gonna tighten it back down. I'm gonna suck all that diesel out of there, put some rags on it, let it sit for about a day, and then we'll go from there. And I believe we're good. I don't see a crack on it anywhere. It's not coming from underneath it. It's, it was actually just coming out from the fitting. And I don't see any, I don't feel any cracks or anything like that. So that's good. I think it was just this fitting was in here cockeyed because this bolt was down here in the diesel. So I'm gonna put this line back on and I'm gonna suck all that out of there and then uh, put some rags in there. And uh, I think we're good to go. I got lucky on this one. So I appreciate it, you guys. I love you. And I'll see you on the next one. So that is what it was. There was the line sitting inside the pump, the fitting. It was because that bolt wasn't holding it down and it was just kind of cockeyed up inside there. So I straightened it all out, tightened the bolt down and everything, and it's good to go. I did not let it sit for a day. I just cleaned all that out, sucked it out with the Mighty Vac, and then uh, used some brake cleaner and then wiped everything out, let it sit for about an hour or so. Not even that. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.